Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It is Ben, a.k.a. The Fuse Box. Well, great friggin' news. I figured out how to fix the audio. So we don't have to do the muffled crap, and you won't be hearing me do the weird stroby robot voice. So, excellent stuff we've got going for today. So, let's get right into it with Metal Gear Solid 5 The Phantom Pain. Now, on our last episode, we had Venom Snake infiltrating Afghanistan in order to rescue Master Miller, aka Benedict Kazuhira Miller if you will. Uh, great, great stuff right there. And as a result, uh, we ended up having some audio recordings of Miller bringing uh, Snake up to speed on what's been going on over the past nine years, as well as uh, informing him of what's been going on with Diamond Dogs, which is the replacement for our boys in a uh, military sun frontier so yeah and now we are gonna start doing a couple of the the missions in order to receive some funding for mother base to start its expansion all really fun good stuff and for those of you who have not already click on the link in the description of this video to sign up for the email list for Outlaw Knights Genesis of a Renegade Part 2 the hit awesome comic series you are gonna wanna do this because the email list has special perks that will only be available to the email list including uh, the, the, sorry, including a two for the price of one deal, which you are not going to want to miss out on. It's a very, 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 very limited option. So sooner you get on that list, the better it'll be for you. Now, yeah, let's get into this. Yes, indeedy. Please what select is, a mission. Let us go back. Yeah. This is our next mission. Uh, this is a fairly straightforward one. Probably won't take me long at all. Farming villages in southern Vahan have been subjected to a strategic bombing campaign the past several weeks. The damage is spreading. It's part of the Soviet scorched earth operation aimed at wiping out the guerrillas. The target this time is the commander of a Spetsnaz detachment. He's been key to the operation's success. People say this guy's responsible for annihilating the Mujahideen at Dismasi Laman, the Hamid fighters, overnight. He's a tough, experienced commander. Don't underestimate him. The order from my client in the West is to shoot on sight. They want him out of the picture for good. Sorry, boss. This one's purely business. Wet work. A hit on a commanding officer of the Soviet military. Nothing personal. We're only doing this because it gets us one step closer to our goal. Makes sense. Mission accepted. Heading to Afghanistan. So for this mission, we are going to use one of our boys in the combat unit instead of good old Snake himself, because in my thought process, Snake, for crying out loud, uh, look at it. Like, you, you've seen from the first mission, this guy has been through hell physically uh, and mentally, but I mean, 
physically he's falling apart. So I think the less danger we put him in, the better. So we save Snake specifically for the main story events and for the you know for all the things meant to uh, kind of help our our organization grow specific only. Uh, I think I think we need to use our combat unit. We don't need D-Horse for this one. Cut down the costs of deployment. And... So far, I have not... You know, this guy is not really worthy of extraction at the moment, so... We're gonna take him out. Time to get our hands dirty, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, indeed. My hair looks awful today. That's our target. Uh, 
Arrived at Mother Base. Mission complete. Great work. Hell to the yes. Yes, indeed. I'm wondering, should we try to do the mission while we're already on the ground? Please select a mission. Or should we get in the helicopter and do it up there? I feel like we might as well try it from over here. I mean... Boss, information warfare is more than just intel gathering. It also means disrupting enemy communications. Your mission is to punch a hole in the comms network between the Soviet outposts. That'll cut off their means to call in reinforcements. Technically, we were given this mission by a Western-backed Arab organization supporting the guerrillas. But it'll also give us a leg up in the future. Take a look at the location of the Eastern Communications Post on your iDroid. Head there and destroy its comms equipment. He who controls information, controls operations. Just look at Cypher. Good luck, boss. Oh, Cypher. Mission accepted. The map has been updated. might take a minute. Or not, we might get there soon.
Lordy, Lordy. Afghanistan is a dangerous place. Advanced technology in 1984. Come on. Boss, you need to disable the Soviets' reinforcement system by putting a hole in their base-to-base -base comms network. Head for the Eastern Communications Post and destroy its comms equipment. First, use the binoculars to locate the communications equipment at the facility. Analysis complete. Ooh. Analysis complete. Analysis complete.
Analysis complete. Analysis complete. Destination. First, use the binoculars to locate the communications equipment at the facility. That antenna is one of the targets. There should be more. Keep looking. That's another one of the targets. Do you see any more? Analysis complete. Caution. Sandstorm approaching. Analysis complete. The map has been that looks like the target. Has been updated. We know where all the antennas are now. Take out all three of them. How you do it is your call. We have the locations of all the targets. Destroy either the radio transmitter or all the antennas to shut down communications between the enemy outposts. It's all up to you. Nice, that's the second one. It wasn't the last of them though. Keep going. Come on. Don't fuck me over, please. Damn it. Ah, uh, that is the worst. God Almighty! Whew. Okay.
Making rookie mistakes. Please select a landing zone. A support helicopter Roger. requested. rank or nothing at all. Specify a project. Please select a mission. Now then. If we're going to expand Mother Base, we need more manpower. And not just for combat roles either. R&D, the support unit, intel, each demands a different set of skills. If we want to achieve what we've set out to do, Diamond Dogs has got to get stronger. There's a Soviet engineer I want to have join us. He was the one who built your prosthesis. With him on our side, who knows what sort of enhancements he'll come up with for it. He tried to defect but didn't make it, and now he's being held prisoner at Wachs in Barracks. Find this engineer and get him out. Having him on our R&D team will go a long way to helping Diamond Dogs grow. Um, yeah, I'll do it. Mission accepted. I was tempted to, well, Mission I not accepted. I might want to do the hard version because his skills will be higher, but I mean, I already have him with high skills. So, I'll do the normal, just to... I know I'm gonna Mission fuck up accepted. the hard version. And I'm 
I'm gonna get mad at myself, and I'm gonna embarrass myself. I didn't get I didn't equip the damn horse I probably should have but I didn't Destination. Analysis complete. Analysis complete.
That is a political prisoner. The map has been updated. Okay, subject is in. Analysis complete. Analysis complete. complete. Analysis complete. Я специалист по бионике. Я создаю биомеханические гибиды. Можно Что? сказать, что это не протез. better at this. За свою жизнь я создал тысячи таких конечностей. Они использовали просто даже в Кремле. We 
Mission Impulse has been updated. Now that's some lateral thinking. Flawless work. You never cease to amaze, boss. Target extraction confirmed. Exfiltrate out of the hot zone by chopper or on land. Watch of this. <laughs> That's a way to extract. Extraction arrived at Mother Base. Amazing. Mission complete. That right there is why you're the best, boss. The one and only. Well, hell. At least we got the S rank. on the R&D team are glad to have him aboard. Thing is, his specialty is in mechanics, but something called bionics, engineering based on biology. He's already submitted a proposal for modifying your prosthetic arm. If you're interested, go ahead and give the development order. Good, he captured it alive. Let's do it. So now we are going to get to a story mission. And this one is going to be a little more tedious. Please select a mission. Part of the Mujahideen's arsenal against the Soviets is secretly supplied by the CIA. But the war continues to drag on with neither side gaining any advantage. Now though, the CIA have started supplying the guerrillas with a new weapon. We don't know the details, but rumor has it that it could turn the tide of the war. The Soviets have heard about it, and it has them spooked. I mean, Mujahideen were issued this weapon, but then they were wiped out in no time. There's no to fight. Soviets have invaded the area and are searching for this Western weapon tech. This is the CIA's worst nightmare. If that weapon falls into Soviet hands, it'll drastically rewrite the history that's being made here. But the company can't be seen entering the area. That's where we come in. Boss, head to the fort of Dismasi Laman. Find the weapon before the Soviets and bring it back to base fast. The new weapon is codenamed Honeybee to the U.S. It's a vital military secret. Mission accepted. We're bringing our boy out. Definitely.
Bay's new weapon codenamed Honeybee. The CIA put it in the hands of the Hamid group of Mujahideen. But the Hamid fighters were wiped out. The Honeybee must still be hidden at their base, the fort at Dasmasi Laman. Unfortunately, the Soviets are looking for the weapon as well. You have to get to it before they do, and bring it back here. There's a photo of the target on your iDroid. One more thing. Apparently, one of the Hamid fighters survived. He's missing, but if you can find him, he might lead us to the target. Good luck, boss. approaching. Yeah, it's a trek. Enemy presence detected. The map has been updated. A Soviet relay base. Think there's something in there that could lead us to the honeybee?
Analysis complete. sake. Analysis complete. Subject on board. Leave the rest to us.
that chopper. takes. I don't want to risk the horse just yet. Analysis complete. Analysis complete.
Isn't it amazing how in shape Venom Snake is after that horrible waking up from a nine-year coma and being forced to walk when you've had no physical therapy? Like, I know the doctor said that he maintained his muscle mass through, like, calisthenics or, like, you know, massages. But he really kind of did. Extraction arrived at another base. Almost there. That's all the all it's is a slog because they make you they make they make it to where you can only land the chopper a million friggin' miles away. Which I suppose is kind of realistic when you think about it. I wish I could do this live so I'd be able to like, you know, respond to chats and stuff. But unfortunately, with the way my internet is, as was just demonstrated, uh, whenever I try to stream this live, it comes off looking terribly. So this is the best bet I got. Storms can be useful, but they can also be a pain. 
Get in the cave first, it'll be a lot more helpful. Extraction arrived at Mother Base. Analysis complete. Oh god, I'm probably gonna get like a beers. I need that. Yeah, I wanna try to get this guy up in the air. Analysis complete. Come on, let's 
You look well rested, big boss. My, my, how you've changed. You became a demon for such little weapons as that? <laughs> well, I'm sure you'll see the bigger picture eventually. If you get out of here alive.
Rest in peace this time. I'll see you in hell, boss. Please, supplies requested. Supply drop complete.
Extraction arrived at Mother Base. You took down the skulls. Boss, you really are a living legend. Don't call it out there. Doctor. Analysis complete. Analysis complete. Analysis complete. This is B Quad. We will be shortly at LZ. This is B Quad. Have a run. Restrict him. We'll stand by. Support helic landing zone. Confirmed. Roger. Analysis complete. This is Pequot. Arriving shortly at LZ. This is Pequot. Have arrived at LZ. We'll stand by. All right, get in. Time to go. Exfiltrated hot zone. Woo! Getting altitude. Extraction arrived at Mother Base. Yes, mission complete. Boss, that was exceptional. Oh. That's pretty amazing. I guess it was because we, we took out the skulls. Like, normally, when you first play this level, like, the goal is run the fuck away, but... We took him out because I had a I had a 50 caliber sniper rifle, which is apparently their weakness. Attack the Soviets too. And that Grim Reaper look-alike in charge of them. That giant thing that carried him off. What the hell are they? Cipher. Well, what do they want? What's their objective? Why Afghanistan? To the Hamid. Exactly. Whole squads of hardened Mujahideen killed without a fight, and no trace of BC weaponry. What does it all mean? That's what we're here to find out. Yeah, right. If we really need to know, the truth will reveal itself. Even if it's ugly. Yeah. Well, that was a hell of a fight. Uh, it took me a retry, but we managed to get it done. Uh, yeah. And we have now been introduced to the main villain of this saga. They don't reveal his name here, but I will tell you, they call him Skullface. And so, yeah. The plot thickens. Skullface is going around with a giant bipedal mech of sorts, which 
If you've played Metal Gear Solid before, I think you know what that mech is. And yeah, and we also got another glimpse at uh, Baby Psycho Manus, just like Baby Yoda. And um, yeah, all in all, good session everybody. If you like anything I had to say, go ahead and hit the like button. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Be sure to hit the bell for notifications. Hell, if you don't like this video, hit the dislike button. But I don't know how you would dislike this one as I managed to fix the damn sound. But life finds a way, I guess. And do not forget, click on the link in the description of this video to sign up for the email list for Outlaw Knights Genesis of a Renegade Part 2. You're gonna want to do it. We are gonna be launching in about three weeks. So get ready. And tomorrow, which, well, actually it's probably today as this video will most likely be going live a day after today. Um, today check out my awesome sit down with the one and only Chrissy Meyer comedian extraordinaire we are going to find out how she is keeping comedy alive in an age where comedy is dying thank you so much for joining me again ladies and gentlemen and I will talk to you all later